Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Bill Allett, and let me just start with a story. I'll never forget when I first started teaching entrepreneurship at MIT. One of the, uh, I came back over the summer and Nathan came into my office. And I had known Nathan from the year before and I loved Nathan. And Nathan came in and said, Bill, I, I'm ready to launch a business. Can you help me raise some money? I said, well, what is it, Nathan? What's your business? And he said, the name of my business is Dipole. And uh, it's a new membrane technology. And what it does, it revolutionizes the fuel cell industry. What it does is it produces 53% more power than anything out there today. It does this with 100 times less methanol crossover. And by the way, I have patented proprietary technology on this, and the patent's issued, and I got it. By the way, it costs less, too. There's a new manufacturing technology. So I am ready to go. And I looked at Nathan's business plan, and I, I skimmed through it quickly, and I said, Nathan, this is really great. You should be re really proud of yourself. I said, but you know what? Here at the Martin Trust Center for MIT Entrepreneurship, we're about starting new ventures. And to start a new company, before you go out and raise money, I think you need to talk to a friend of mine's child. And he said, well, who's that? And he said, well, it's a friend who's in the business of lemons. He said, lemons? What is it, synthetic biology? What, what does he do? Is it some new fuel cell that I don't know about? He said, no. He actually takes lemons, he squeezes the lemons, he puts water and sugar into it, and then he creates it, he puts it in a glass, and he sells it to people. They give him money for his product. Nathan looked at me and said, I don't get it. I said, Nathan, here's the point of the story. This is a center to create new companies. This is not a science fair project. The fundamental business of business is to get paying customers. The single necessary and sufficient condition for a business, there is one and only one. It is to have a paying customer. So if you have a paying customer, you have a business. If you don't have a paying customer, you don't have a business yet. It's that simple.